Hey guys, so Eddie and I are just doing a little quarantine dumpster diving and we are at a store that has been closed but um, our state's kind of lifting up some of the bans and so it looks like some employees have gone into the store and cleared some stuff out um, in preparation for opening up in a few days. Uh, so I popped my head in really fast and then one of my little boys um, who was asleep in the car woke up so I just kind of have been driving around with him for a little bit while Eddie's getting stuff out of the dumpster but um, I think this is gonna be a good one uh, for sure I know that there are like so many sodas in this dumpster and um, I think some merchandise that is in bags I don't think that they ha have had any employees like or people in the store yet like the store is still closed um, so I'm thinking the bags of stuff that I saw are probably just full of merchandise. So um, I will give you a shot of what that looks like inside of the dumpster here once my little boys are <laughs> happy and um, I can get out. So anyway, uh, really excited to see what's in there. So let's go ahead and go check it out. Yes, for sure. Freaking jackpot, look at this. Oh, so much the lender. The entire bottom is just what, Ghirardelli's. Ghirardelli's? Yeah, all these are boxes too, by the way. Do you want those boxes? Yeah, I do. I will take all of these Christmas. All so those bags Christmas. over there are just, um, so those bags are actual garbage. Yeah. Those aren't like clothes or anything. Oh. Cool. So it looks like we have a lot of boxes and a lot of sodas and a bunch of stuff. So we'll go ahead and unload and we'll show you what we got. Look at all that soda. Is there any Dr. Pepper in there or is it all Coke product? Oh, it's like Coke. Do you like Coke? Put in the back of the uh, car. Um, you brought them in the house. Did we put them back I out in the car? To, yeah. I, I might. I might have put them back out. Anyway, okay. So we're gonna load up the car. Good score. Okay. okay. So this is what we came home with. So uh, it's like 315 things of soda. <laughs> So, like, what would that be, like, $315 worth? I don't actually know how much these sodas are usually worth. Is it, like, a probably more than a dollar now, right? Anyway, so they just barely expired, like, um, at the end of April. And my husband has been drinking them already. Um, we have a few that we couldn't actually even fit in this clip. So, um... <laughs> So he's super excited about all this soda. I'm super excited about it too. We will probably honestly end up giving some to our local food pantry. Um, I personally don't drink Coke product or Coke, Coca-Cola. Um, I drink Sprite and Vanta and all of those, but you know, we'll take what we need and then donate the rest. And then on this side, we have our chocolate section. Um, we must have gotten to the store's um, rate as they must have just done because all of the chocolate, none of it is melted. It's all in really good condition. Um, I'm really the most excited about like these Ghirardelli squares that like have the can the flavoring inside of them. So we have um, probably like 10 of those sea salt ones that I'm super excited about. Three of the caramels. I'm not the hugest fan of Godiva chocolates. So these will probably go to, again, to our local food pantry. Um, the Lindor chocolates, my little boys open this, this red one right here. Um, most of this is like the dark chocolate and I actually love the milk chocolate and my husband doesn't like chocolate at all. So um, I'll keep a few of these dark chocolates, give some to my mom who really likes them, and then um, I'll donate a lot of these dark chocolates and the Godiva chocolates to the food pantry. Um, probably along with these Ghirardelli dark chocolate bars. Okay, we also got this like <laughs> tin pack of little girls hair ties, which I think would be really fun for like a little girl's party or something, like a little birthday party. I think those would be so cute as party favors. I don't have a little girl, but I might sell them online for super cheap, like two bucks for the whole pack and market them as great for a birthday party. Um, again, we have some more of these like Biscoff treats, some popcorns, stuff that just barely expired and um, coffee, which does coffee really? I actually don't know. I am not a coffee drinker, but let's see when it expired on this guy. If I can find it. I don't know, but it's Starbucks ground coffee. And 
I feel like coffee is one of those things that stays good for a long time. And I wonder if they just got more in stock. But I also think, oh, right, right there. Best Buy 9th of May 2020. So it's not even the 9th of May yet. So I will take that right away to the food pantry as well. It'll probably be the 9th of May when I post this. But um, right now it's, I think it's like May 8th. <laughs> so we're not even expired on that. So I'm in their food pantry takes food again. Well past the Best Buy date. And then I have so many these cute shoes um then i have so many of these like boxes these christmas boxes so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there's eleven right here in this box and then i have three full boxes of those and then i have um under here so there's all of these stacks right here that have those christmas boxes in them and i'm just going to hang on to those at until christmas time then i'll just sell them for super cheap again um i don't really know anything about the portable boom box <laughs> i will have to check in and see if it works along with the flexa glow light strips um those uh little um what are they called i don't even know how to say that yeah. pyroline chocolate hazelnut little um can i know you put them in like your coffee or your hot chocolate we'll probably keep the smaller one of those and then um donate the others probably keep this candy kids my little my two and three year old really like candy canes <laughs> and then i will donate all of these like chocolate brownie type things um and the peanut like the honey peanut popcorn and all of those types of things will get donated um Let's see, we have, oh, some sweet tea. I don't drink sweet tea, but that will be another thing to donate to the food pantry, <laughs> along with some hot sauce. Um, these gummies, I think my two and three-year-old um, are, I have a boy that just turned two and a boy that just turned three, and we're knee-deep in potty training, and they always get a little treat when they go potty. And so um, along with these gumballs, <laughs> these gumballs will be perfect potty training treats, along with these cute little watermelon candies um i'm not sure what these are they're called duets they're this one says it's um peanut butter and caramel so i'm guessing these are kind of like maybe like a linder chocolate except for their mixes this one's raspberry and peanut butter so i'm kind of excited to try these oh i don't know this brand either but it's another truffle type thing so i do love my chocolate so we'll have to try those and um, see if we like them or not. Whatever we don't like will be donated. Oh, I have another box to show you guys. <laughs> then we have like this huge box of um, robots. Um, they're robot like this um, and then they're robot dogs. And they actually had a recall notice on them for the robot figurine guys. But it said um, on the box it said take out all of the robots, leave the dogs. And on the top of the box, there were a bunch of robots. But then when we got under, like took them off, like it's all dogs in here. So I will probably get rid of the robots, but like the, the robot guys, but leave like the robot dogs for my little boys to play with. But we have a huge box of these guys. So um, we'll still have to sort through all of that. So overall it was a really cool haul um especially i just have to show you guys this again can you believe all of that soda you guys like 315 things of coke product soda um yeah so we are doing well here we uh should buy some mintos and, and pop them in we can have a lot of soda fountains on this area and in our backyard and um of course um really i'll just end up donating a lot of this to people that i uh, don't have jobs right now with the virus and everything that's going on so um i'm happy that we can find this stuff and we can pass it along to people who don't mind if it's like a few days past the best by date we don't we can still drink it we still like it so it's been really good for us so um anyway thanks for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it follow and subscribe if um you have not yet followed this channel yet i would love to have you guys here i'm gonna shortly here start posting a lot more videos so if you like this sort of thing uh, make sure to uh, be a member of this group. I'd love to have you. And if you're returning here from watching some of my other videos, I'm so grateful that you're here. I hope you're doing well. My heart and prayers are going out to you all at this time. Okay, take care. Bye.